Hello and welcome to another episode of Practical IT. Today I am happy to bring you a product that has been reborn. So RescueZilla has recently released a new version, version 1.0.6, released on the 17th of June. And for those not familiar with the product, RescueZilla is the continuation of the abandoned redo backup and restore product. The idea behind that product and RescueZilla now is to be able to make complete hard drive clones and be able to restore those in an easy to use interface that is completely free. Now, as you can see here, they give you instructions right on the site. It's very easy. You download an ISO image, you write it to a USB stick or burn it to an optical disc, or you just use the ISO image if you're talking about virtual machines, which is normally what I'm working with. And so the reason that this is so interesting to me right now is well I've been doing a lot more work with virtual machines and I have been making a migration in large part from using VirtualBox to Proxmox VE so the great thing about this is that you can take your RescueZilla ISO boot up your VirtualBox VM from RescueZilla, take an image of that virtual machine, save it to an external hard drive, save it to a NAS, and then go over to Proxmox VE and restore it and have it operating virtual machine. Now, again, if you're gonna do this, Right now, I am sticking to using uh, BIOS-based VirtualBox VMs because moving EFI or UEFI uh, systems between the two platforms has proven to be a little bit problematic. But once I have a solution for that, we will be covering it here on the channel as well. So if you get a chance, go ahead and download RescueZilla, try it out. It comes in handy as well if you are, for instance, a Windows user. If you have a spinning disk and you want to replace it with a larger solid state drive, RescueZilla will allow you to do exactly that. You back up your disk to an external hard drive or a NAS and install your new solid state drive and then you can restore your existing windows installation to the solid state drive and get up and running quick and easy so that is really all my introduction is going to be for the product today in the next video we are going to start showing it in action we will be backing up VMs, we will be restoring VMs on both VirtualBox and on Proxmox VE. So stay tuned, more videos are coming up soon, and I look forward to seeing you there. If you haven't, please take a moment to like and subscribe. I've got some interesting videos coming up and I think you will like the direction we are going to go with some of the future videos. I'll see everybody soon in another video. Be safe, happy computing, and have a great day.